Widseth was involved from the very beginning on the Gitche Zibe Center for the Arts, as well as the CTC Center, a performing arts venue in Pillager. Projects such as these are very specialized, and a key component to the process is assembling the right team. I love the acoustics of Brainerd. I think it's one of the nicest halls I've been in acoustically in the last 10 years. Actors, technical people, the audience, musicians, directors, camera operators, those are the people that we're thinking about at the beginning of a design. For example, when a dancer says, you know, we need to make sure we've got enough stage depth that we can do a crossover upstage of the psych. Usually the architect and the engineers, their eyes will cross a little bit and they'll say, what was that? Was that English? And our role is to help to say, well, we need enough depth that beyond the last backdrop, we've got clearance for the dancers to get from one side of the stage to the other. Nothing in this room happened by accident. The walls are angled to support all those reflections. The ceiling baffles are angled and curved for very specific reasons. And it's all about getting that sound to travel to your ear at a, the correct time. We're seeing these wood slat panels that are providing some diffusion and helping to resist the flutter echo that might happen between parallel surfaces. But the wood panels are also hiding an acoustic banner, so there's a wool curtain that drops down behind the panel, so the wool banners might be down for the drama to provide a little more absorption and to dry out the room a little bit, and they might be up for the choir so that the room is more lively and reverberant. So it takes all of us to look at this room in all of those ways to make it successful. It is truly awe-inspiring as to how much planning and coordination goes into all the details and different aspects of these spaces. As the architect of record for both of these facilities, Widseth had a primary role in both of their designs. The students, the community, everybody who comes here is in awe by this lovely facility that was designed by Widseth. It's absolutely incredible. The whole stage setting when you walk into that main auditorium is phenomenal. They're really handsome rooms. The, the level of finish for a public school facility is, is very high. The pleasure of working with Widseth is that they understood that this wasn't a process where they gave us a pretty room and then we added some technology to it. That it's, it's much more um, complicated than that and it's much more collaborative than that. It's a fun process and occasionally we'll have teachers who've been teaching in this community for most of their careers that will like be in tears because they'll say, we never dreamed that we'd have a real auditorium. We've always had to be in the gym and that's really a treat. My favorite part is walking into this lobby and seeing the terrazzo that looks like the Kichizibe, the Great River. And it's designed with the colors of our school. You want to have a certain um, experience walking into a space, you know, with beautiful lighting and textures and uh, finishes and so forth. But once that performance starts and the lights go down, we want you to stay focused on that event. Um, really nice detailing and a, just a wonderful first impression. So on top of all the technical things that we know that these rooms can do, we're also providing this really appealing, inviting, welcoming, and exciting environment for the students in the community and something to be proud of. It's just so fun to have this incredible partnership with our community to be able to provide opportunities in the arts that we never could have provided without this lovely facility. Brainerd and Pillager are going to be two very nice examples of technically, architecturally wonderful spaces.